Hey, now in the last video I showed you uh, how to go about and actually find content to post on your page and then this quick video I'm just going to show you how we actually post it in case you haven't done it before. So I'm on, uh, on my German, German Shepherd Lovers page here. There's nothing on it except for the profile and the cover picture. Um, to post on it and uh, now we're not doing any monetization yet just so we're clear on that. We're just posting uh, pictures, images to uh, that uh, we hope actually that we want to go viral or at least people in the, engage with and that's kind of the uh, the plan in the beginning while we're building up likes is to uh, just post uh, sociable shareable content and this is exactly what that is and I'll show you in a later video how we then go about and monetize everything but for now let's just click on photo video here and uh, we upload photos and we just start with the first one and we say something like adorable um, try to avoid saying asking for a like and share in, 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 uh, in the text here do not say share this or click like try to do it inside uh, the screen capture like I did before share if you find this find them cute because if you do this in the in the text in the actual text here uh, Facebook will uh, decrease the uh, the reach on your on your photo meaning it will get less spread around and you will get less um, likes and shares and such so just say something like how adorable and we just post this straight on the page like so and this here this text here is a call to action having it here will result in more shares and likes that's just that's just how it is if you tell people to do something they uh, most often they just will now let's uh, Let's schedule up one post here. So we just go back and uh, click photo video here and we're gonna upload another photo. Let's do photo number two. That was a funny, the kid that uh, was sleeping with all these uh, shepherds. So um, in some cases you don't even have to put a text here. Now, to schedule this, we go into this drop down arrow here next to the post button and we hit schedule. And this will pop up, uh, this will show uh, most of the times in your own time zone. So mine is the universal time zone. Um, my market is mainly US, so I'm going to try to uh, um, schedule into that market. So uh, when it's 5. PM my time it's uh, it's noon Eastern time so let's schedule this one at 5 and let's schedule another one as well number 3 just pause schedule this one and let's just schedule it two hours later Actually, in this case, it's just to, to 8. 8 p.m., which is uh, midday USA. We schedule it. And as you can see, we have two scheduled posts. We can even look at them. Next scheduled post is today at 5 p.m. We can see all the posts we scheduled. And uh, talking about uh, scheduling. There's um I've seen I've seen some people post, you know, 10 12 times a day on their pages. And it might work for them, but um I, I try to stick with no more than 6 times a day and you know roughly just 4 times, 4 to 5 times a day depending on what you're doing. And um 
I try to schedule it so that uh, you get the peak hours of your selected niche. Um, most people are online, you know, during midday or afternoon to uh, and during the evening. And you can actually see that inside. If you go to insights here on your on your page, it will show nothing as uh, as of now because I only have 52 likes. But if you go to um, now, oh, what was it? Uh, visits. I'm not quite sure where it was. You can. Actually, it's just. Uh, well, it's not just not pulling up anything. But you can definitely get some information from these tabs here. I'm not. I can From the top of my head, I can't just remember which which uh, tab it was. But you can see at what times. Uh, your audience is most active online on the pay or on on Facebook, and try to uh, schedule a post so that you uh, hit those peak hours. Um, and for now, when you're setting up the page, start with four, five, six posts a day, maybe an hour or two in between, and just try to get some uh, interaction going. And that's that's what to, what we're aiming at here, while uh, we're getting the likes count up. So uh, this is the end of this module. Um, I'm hoping that you have at least five niches picked now. Um, and just go ahead and start building those pages, start setting up the ads, and see which one takes off. It might be just one of those pages or one of those you know, ad campaigns. It might be two. Um, but give it, a, give it a few days. Um, sometimes the ads take a while to uh, to adjust and just you know for the like cost per like to drop down so get get those pages up start pushing some content on them and in the next module we'll uh, start going over the different monetization methods so I'll see you in the next module thank you